and good morning. Yesterday was just an amazing day. I absolutely love a storm, don't you? We got plenty of rain, too. 68 degrees already this morning. Jamie, I'm taking the day off today. I'm going to be by the pool all day. I took yesterday off. <laughs> you did. I may take another day off. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us on a Wednesday morning. This is Athens in the AM on ZTV 11 right here in Limestone County, Alabama. Tom McAllister back from the beach. Roy in here this morning. Herbs and more. Roy! You brought a bunch of fat with you. Good morning, I did. <laughs> Not Tom, but Tom, no offense. <laughs> well, I was, I was wondering. Yeah, but <laughs> you, that's five pounds of fat, Roy, from that who? Is. Five pounds of fat. We're going to show you how to get rid of it today. Well, good. I need to lose about, I need to get rid of about 10 pounds of fat. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here's what's coming. Roy brought his little boy up here today, too. So we may have arm wrestling contest in just a little bit. I kind of embarrass Seth over at Sports Fit when I'm in there working out. He don't want to say much about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, there he is. Uh, flex up for me. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we'll have a... And this little girl here, from a uh, graduate of UNA over here, she's going to talk about foster parents. But I said, do you ever seen the program? No, but my grandma does. Well, thank you. <laughs> every 70-year-old out there, Frank, watches me each and every day. But thank you all for getting up with us. That's what's coming up today. Plus, our minister, Johnny Lee Dees from Cross Point, be joining us here in just a little bit, too. We'll talk about some things he had to say this weekend. I still can't get over that thing yesterday, Roy, we were talking about, if you saw this on the news, this preschool over in Sweden, they no longer refer to the kids as him and hers. They're uh, friends. They, want to, they don't want to do a gender thing there. Ain't that the stupidest thing, thing y'all ever heard of? Yes. Perverts! We'll talk about that a little bit when our minister gets here. That's what's coming up here on this Wednesday morning edition. Cooper comes live. You got something going on? You need to call Frank two three zero four nine eight eight, or you can uh, text my current assistant Gloria Cooper at six zero three forty eight forty eight. All right, let's get it cranking on this good looking Wednesday. The rain is out of the forecast, and Gloria's going to tell you when it might rain again, and it might be a while. Hmm, current wife, you might add to that list there too, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go over. We will. Let's go over that forecast. 68 degrees out there right now. Feels great. A lot of fog out there this morning, so be careful if you have to drive into work. High temperatures today around 90, low of 63, full sunshine. I could just say ditto for several days. Look at the extended forecast. No rain in the forecast until 4th of July. How about that? 40% chance of rain on Monday. All right, let's show this article here. Finally, we got caught up on some rain. Last year it was 2.75 inches of rain. This year we're at 3.74. We should be at 3.94, but we look a okay. Man, yesterday when I was watching uh, 48 on them during lunch, it said that Florence, y'all got about four or five inches of rain yesterday mm -hmm. over in <coughs> Killing, too. Yeah, it was. It was kind of treacherous going to work yesterday. Uh, to we only it. got one. Mm -hmm. We got less than two inches here yesterday. All right. Mm -hmm. But man, Most Florence of, got inundated, man. One, one of the cars in the parking lot where they just park and leave their cars and all kind of ride together to work was up to the headlights. Get out. Water was up to the headlights. It's kind of, oh, kind of scary looking. Wow. <clears throat> You're kidding. It was that much? All right, finally, yeah. I found a man who's forced to pay more child support than I had to pay. <laughs> Charlie Sheen, yep, a judge has ordered Charlie Sheen's former mm. bosses to garnish $55,000 a month for child wow. support from any payments that he gets from the former Two and a Half Men star. 55 wow. grand a month? Oh, how will she live? That was almost as much as yours. Huh? It's almost as much as yours. Yeah, I know it, man. Well, Based mm -hmm. on the scale of me doing this TV gig and him doing his, it's probably about accurate. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I don't have to pay no more. So Thank should be goodness. Happy. Huh? Should be happy. 55 grand a month, I might be able to live on that. Anyone should I did hear to. that Sheen is in negotiation to do a new show. Okay. I don't think it's going to be airing here no time soon. But anyway, I just wanted to bring y'all up to date on mm -hmm. Sheen. All right, All Roy. A right. couple things here I want to talk about. The recent study came out last week talking about those bagged potato chips I had over there. I brought them up here to get rid of them. Those Lay's potato chips are the worst thing you can eat. No, I'm never eating them again. And you're a nutritionist. Well, the USA Today's got a thing here. Now, the potato people are mad. <laughs> potato people say they're coming out. The Idaho Potato Commission will launch a television marketing campaign with a fitness guru, Denise Austin, beginning in September that delivers a real straightforward message. Potatoes are good for your heart. <laughs> All righty. Hmm. Ask any diabetic like, if they can eat a potato. When you eat a potato, what happens? Your sure. glycemic index shoots through the ceiling because 
Carbohydrates are, are just you know, sugars, but that's breads, potatoes, pasta, and rice. They all turn to sugar in your body. One slice of bread, three teaspoons of sugar. You eat a half a regular size baked potato or serving of french fries, 10 <laughs> teaspoons of sugar. Well, gee, you know, what can we Back eat? off a bit, Roy. I ain't finished here. What's wrong with a baked potato for those of us who ain't diabetics? Well, it's nothing wrong with it except it's going to make you gain weight. It's oh. all about. I told you I should be eating more than two of them a day. All right. The good news reverse here with potassios. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be good for you, so they're all tickled to death. That's why all these girls in this photograph are eating them. And what are pistachios? Well, whatever they call them. Nuts. Pistachios. They're expensive, is what I know. Yeah, You're not a bunch of nuts. What do you huh? call them? Nuts are good for you, though. That's your fat. That's your good <laughs> fats. So eat nuts, is what nuts. you're saying. Any kind. I believe that all nuts are good for you. Now, there's people Maybe that along. on that, but they're good. Tom, just chime right in. <laughs> Man, I'm just trying to learn something, getting better right, here's help. something that hits your... The USA Today's got <laughs> things this morning. This is what, who we try to uh, appeal to a lot on the program here, and I know, Roy, that's what y'all do a lot at, mm -hmm. at the stores. Americans aren't hitting their prime until after 65, which you're approaching daily quicker, Tom. <laughs> A sweeping poll looking at American attitude, health, and behavior concludes that people over 65 con consistently have a higher degree of well-being than any other age group. Get the list. At the bottom of that list, 45 to 64, mm -hmm. which is what three of the four of us up here are in. That's right. Hey. So we're ha we have the worst well-being than any other age group. Why is that, Roy? I, we just we believe the food industry for the last 30 years we've eaten the wrong foods. The people that are older than us, what they do? Most of the foods they ate their whole lives were raised in gardens. They milked their own cows. They got the nutrition right out of the ground. It wasn't a bunch of preservatives and carbohydrates. You know, it's changed. It's almost reversed. When in 1900, the average American diet was 80% nutrient, 20% carbohydrate. In 2000, it's 80, 20 the other way. It's 80% carbohydrate, 20% nutrition. We wonder why we're so fat. So you're saying we all need to go out and buy a cow? <laughs> you ever tried to milk a cow? I have milked cows till I was 18 years old by hand. I absolutely have. Not Milking a cow is hard. I milked several goats in my day. But well, goats are better for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. A goat milk. Tom, you ever milked? My family had a dairy, <laughs> but I never milked. All right, it also <laughs> says in this, Roy, older people make most out of life. Think you're happy now, just wait. The best emotional times comes later in life. The, hmm. for, uh, the older group outscored the three other age groups. It says here, I'm, these people in their 70s or in their 80s are the happiest they've ever been. Sure. How's well, that going, Frank? Not too good. <laughs> 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 All right. I don't believe that. Don't forget, if you've got a comment you'd like to make this morning, you can feel free to do so. Before I get to this other thing I want to talk about, let me remind y'all, y'all know we are an RTV affiliate now, retro television mm -hmm. programming just changed. As I mentioned yesterday, leave it to Beaver. Every three months, they change. The Rifleman is still on, but I just want to go over Celebrity Kitchen with uh, that used to be on the National Network, or Crook and Chase is on every morning. The Rifleman moving on, Naked City, Route 66. I Spy, Daniel Boone, Starsky and Hutch, and Police Story at Night. Just want to go over a few of those things with you. Uh, tomorrow will be the last day that we run Alabama Classics from the Bryant Museum for some time. We are replace, replacing that programming, too, with uh, Andy Griffith, Ozzie and Harriet, and the Beverly Hillbillies, and stuff like that. So we'll bring that back in time. But let me get off on my subject today. Got this out of the news, Curry. Dear Jamie. Oh, boy. That's me, in case you didn't know I <laughs> In no uncertain terms, my son, Tom, and his second wife have told me that it is wrong to be in contact with my son's ex-wife. They've said my ex-daughter-in-law should not be invited to my home or to family functions, and that includes her show and a total lack of support for my son. I'm not close to my ex-daughter-in-law, although I still like her. I've known her for 30 years, and she's the mother of my grandchildren. Shutting her out does not seem reasonable. I see my son and his current wife very rarely. They don't even invite me to their home. They do not bother to visit my family whatsoever. Now my son refuses to talk about any of this, and his wife seems only too happy to attack me. Jamie, you've Get been through this several it. times. Get over what it. What do you suggest? Get over it. Well, let me tell you my situation. If you're not visiting your mother, let now, them. Wait a minute. Back when I hooked up with you, hooked up. my ex-wife, one that of them, word. was visiting my relatives on a regular basis. 
Yeah. How'd that go for me, Frank? Not too good. Not too good, <laughs> right? Oh, get it over ain't it. right. If you, I, I'm gonna agree with the son here. Get over it. If you got an ex-wife and they continue to linger around your parents, lay the law down and say it's either me or them. Jamie, grow up. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're a psychologist. What do you think? She's going to tell you the same thing. Grow up. Like, she's a counselor and a psychologist. We're going to talk about um, foster care parents. Here was her answer. <laughs> of course, it is wrong for your son and his wife to tell you who you can and cannot contact, but that won't change their response. We don't recommend inviting her. The simple, you're asking for trouble if you continue to invite them. It ain't right. Your ex-wife was in our home not too long ago. Not that one. <laughs> well, I wasn't talking about that one. I was talking about the other one. One of the three other ones. Well, uh, two of them. Uh, well, it just goes to show you that one, well, that one you just don't like. That well one don't even be, should be allowed to walk around the face of this earth. <laughs> but saying. anyway, I doubt she'll be at our house, but your first. She can't be watching this morning. Ex wife was watching. Listen, it ain't Roy. Mm. I wonder what she looks like. <laughs> I'm dead <laughs> on. The devil. <laughs> if y'all are out there in this situation and you got a son or daughter and their ex keeps coming over, stop it. <laughs> Just cut it out. Well, maybe it doesn't bother everyone. It bothers me, and that's what counts on this show. <laughs> I despise my parents Jenny. for inviting my ex best friend over and <laughs> currently married to my ex wife. That one. <laughs> it wasn't right, huh? It wasn't right. Mm. Well, it's just it like my little ugly. brother now who just got remarried. Uh -huh. He didn't like his ex, who I'm still friends with, coming over and visiting because it ain't right. It ain't right. But it didn't stop you from going over there and talking to him. I talked to both my ex sister in laws. Well, then why can't you see your mother him? or your father? <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're 10 years older than you. <laughs> so anyway, that's just mm. my feel on it. That's all that counts this morning. But thank y'all for getting you up think? with it. You can text 603-484 mm. if you want to. Right now, we're getting ready to take Great. a break Phone's on this Wednesday now. morning. On this Wednesday morning, <laughs> i got to come back with it. Tom, thanks for all the participating work this morning. Yeah, right. You know, mm. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't let me forget before I take a break. Yes. This Friday morning, it is the Cooper & Company annual cookout right out the front it door. Is. Here we do the whole program, or most of it outside. You're all invited. It's free. Just make a friendly donation to no me before you donations. leave. <laughs> uh, we'll be cooking out. We'll have pounds and pounds of barbecue by old Joy Boy and Sandy will be out cooking all night. Mm -hmm. It's a free event. I don't even charge you for parking. Y'all just come on up. Right now, we'll take a break. Come right back with ZNN. Y'all hang on. Mm-hmm.